Hello and welcome to this very special episode of Trojan Poetry. I've chosen the poem. Mike has not read it. This week the poem is by Ada Lamone. It is titled, How to Triumph Like a Girl. I like the lady horses best, how they make it all look easy, like running 40 miles per hour is as fun as taking a nap or grass. I like their lady horse swagger after winning. Ears up, girls, ears up. But mainly, let's be honest, I like that they're ladies. As if this big, dangerous animal is also a part of me, that somewhere inside the delicate skin of my body, there pumps an eight-pound female horse heart, giant with power, heavy with blood. Don't you want to believe it? Don't you want to lift my shirt and see the huge, beating, genius machine that thinks, no, it knows, it's going to come in first? I think this is our first positive poem <laughs> in a long time. Ah, hey. And this is a continuation of our theme of people speaking to skulls and or animals or, and yeah, or, or organs. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Triumph of a Heart by mm-hmm. Bjork. We yep, should look at yep, that yep, one. Yep, yep. Yep. So uh, I, this is anything that has to do with horse racing, it always brings up uh, like personal memories for me because my grandfather lived in Maryland and he hmm. actually owned horses for a while. And... Huh. I had one that was, uh, you know, like locally, it was um, apparently won some races and stuff like that. But so anytime I see something like this, you know, running 40 miles per hour is as fun as taking a nap or grass. (laughs) I just love the like gentle humor going on Mm. here. The lady horse swagger, ears up girls, ears up. Um, But then it switches and it gets into the heart and don't you want to believe it? It's like, I have to prove it to you, right? She's like, I'm, I'm going to show you this, mm. this winner, this champion heart is in me, whether you believe it or not. So I don't know if that has to do with, you know, gender roles of someone believing that, or thinking that a girl can't do what a guy can do and I'm going to prove it to you kind mm. of a thing. How did you read into that? Well, I guess the, it's, so the poem is how to triumph like a girl. Mm-hmm. So the, I guess the question is how do, what is the answer to that? What, what is mm-hmm. the step you have to take to triumph like a girl? And why does it have to be like a girl? I mean, couldn't the title be how to triumph, right? If right. all things were equal right. in a perfect world, you wouldn't need that part of the title. Right. Right. So what is, how do you triumph like a girl? Did you find the answer? I mean, No, that's the question I have. Okay. <laughs> so please, <laughs> in the comments... If Someone can answer please that question. <laughs> well, because I mean, isn't it like she's going to tell us, give us instructions on right. in how to triumph like a girl? And it seems maybe the idea is that it looks effortless, mm. right? Mm-hmm. Like they and make it, it look easy, right? Yeah, line two. Yeah, right. um, is as fun as taking a nap. So it's it, yeah, it's like anybody could, they could do it in their sleep, literally, right? right? I mean, laying down and taking naps is about the simplest thing you could do. So. Right. And running 40 miles an hour with an eight-pound heart is just like nothing, right? Right. It's so easy. Right. And that's kind of a grotesque image. Mm-hmm. And maybe I'm overthinking it, but... What, to have an eight-pound heart? Yes. Well, and it says... Right, well, they're right inside the delicate skin of my body, because it's very clearly drawing the juxtaposition or the distinction or the contrast between the delicate skin and the eight-pound female horse heart. Right. right. And that horse heart. <laughs> that's like a harsh... Yeah. Even right. the sound of it. Yeah. and. Uh, heavy with blood yes i was gonna say giant with power heavy with blood and i i'm rereading it says it's a big dangerous animal and it's part of me so something that she wouldn't people wouldn't expect from her is now inside it's part of her right right and i guess the question don't you want to believe it could be why why don't you want to believe it right do i have to prove it to you kind of a thing it's almost a challenge right don't you want to believe it Right. I, and I wonder if she's talking to another woman or, you know, or, or girl. Don't you want to lift my shirt? It's like, you know, right. I was pointing at someone mm-hmm. like saying, you know, you want to do it. Right. Um, and the idea of the genius machine that thinks, no, it knows. And of course, the machine doesn't think. Right. And mm-hmm. again, that whole idea of why is the heart considered something that thinks or feels Mm-hmm. We've talked about that before. Yeah, but, right. So Why I don't is that know. The I mean, center of emotion, right? Yeah, it doesn't I, really make much sense. It seems so straightforward, but then I think there are some complexities. Obviously, probably <laughs> right. <laughs> it thinks, that you no, could it knows. begin to. It's going to come in first. Sorry to interrupt, um, but yeah, there are some definite levels here. Yeah, to look yeah. at. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Join us again here on Trojan Poetry at trojanpoetrydgn.blogspot.com or on Twitter at trojanpoetrydgn. Poetry DGN.